Whiskey Jason here, Whiskey Live Dublin 2023, together with Peter Murr from Drinksology, Kirker Greer, and our flagship is Kirker Shamrock Whiskey. All right, let's talk about the whiskey first. What's yeah. so special about our Shamrock Risk Whiskey? So this whiskey is curated from all around Ireland. It's an all island blend. Yeah. And we have pot still from pot still known for Ireland for the unmalted and malted barley. Yep. And so we have that pot still from West Cork Distillery, mm -hmm. and that's from Munster. Then in the grain is from Leinster, so 60% grain. Yep. And then we go to Drum Shambo yep. in the Shed Distillery. Yep. We've got the five-year Al Rosso cast yep. aged. And then Ecklandville Distillery, yep. we've got the eight-year-old malt. They're also responsible for Dunville's. We've got their eight-year malt in here. So, so they don't even have their own malt in the market, and you have their malt yes, in there. Yes, we preceded. So we preceded their five-year-old malt, yes. which they won an award for there yes. in the London Spirit Awards. Yeah. Uh, they got 96 out of 100 gold Amazing, medal, right. and we've got their eight-year-old malt in yeah. here. So we start off as a design company, and we design brands, we yeah. design distilleries, we route the market for other brands, and we design bars, and we train staff, and now we've got our own brands, so we thought... Let's just go for it. I mean, right. Our flagship is our Kirkus Shamrock whiskey. Yeah. I mean, more Irish than a shamrock, not possible. Yeah, pretty pretty tough to beat <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah, pretty, pretty tough, tough to beat that. that. Yeah, very very good. Now, tell me a little bit about um, Kirker. You've had other whiskeys on the market before, as yeah, well. So, yeah, so we have Kirker Greer, which one yeah. was uh, started off. I remember before. those. <laughs> yeah, so to, in homage to that, we have the Kirker Greer embossed in the back of the yeah. bottle. So there, Kirker Greer from 1870 to 1930s, mm -hmm. they, as a, as a company, would barter and bargain all these whiskeys from yep. all around Ireland. And they have four distilleries, four, two in Belfast, one in Derry, and one in Armagh, and one in Scotland. Okay. And Kirker, Archibald Kirker was from Belfast, so we thought we called it Kirker Shamrock because yep. the Shamrock whiskey was their flagship whiskey. Mm -hmm. And these guys, these guys are responsible for two million gallons of whiskey that were coming out of Belfast. Wow. And in that time, between 1901 and 1909, there were six and a half million gallons of whiskey yeah. Yeah. was coming out of Belfast because yeah. the docks were the biggest in the world. Yeah. Yeah. So from there, in export terms, we were the capital of Irish whiskey and the capital of Irish whiskey for the world. And these guys were behind it. They were part of United Distillers Company. Yeah. And United Distillers Company were working together to try and keep it together just before IDL started. Yeah. So what was happening in the 1900s, Irish whiskey, as you know, was going up and up and up. Yeah. DCL, based in Scotland. They said, oh, we're going to buy your distillery, and we're going to close you down. We're going to buy that distillery, we're going to close you down. Kill the competition. Yeah. So in wake of that, after 1929, IDL got together, which is Jameson, Bush Mills, and Middleton. So now that, that those brands still exist because of that. So yeah. in wake of that, wake of us being shut down, yeah. IDL started. So now the brand is bought back. These guys at the start were going around the four corners mm -hmm. of the globe. Yep. So now I brought it back with the four corners of Ireland for the yeah. four provinces. Wow. And now we've got some great whiskey in the bottle, brought back to Belfast to raise a glass once again. Excellent. Would you like to try some? Uh, thank you very much. You can go a little bit. A little now bit. The price point in Ireland is going to be at? So as retail is at 30 euro to 45 euro, available in the Celtic Whiskey Shop. Right. All right. Very, yeah. very good. Have a little try. Um, distribution, you're all over the world or just in certain countries? Certain, the certain countries at the moment, I'm working away to get into the American markets. Mm -hmm. So we'll be starting the East Coast and then we'll take it from there. Mm -hmm. Very good. The grain, you said what? 60% six, what? grain, 60 five, five year. Yeah. 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 Very, very nice. So you should be getting a little bit of spice in that yeah. grain. And then the creaminess is from the Barra Oats and Drum Shambo yeah. whiskey. And then we've got the pot still from yeah. uh, West Cork. Right. That's nice and rounded. And then obviously you get your nice bready notes. But yeah. It's quite caramelly, a little bit of spice. Slight bit of pear yeah, through there. 40% ABV, exactly. Yeah, 40% ABV. ABV, yeah. So we dropped it down. We did have it yep. at 43, but we thought we'd make it more accessible for people. 40% yep. ABV, Kirk of Shamrock. All right, thank you very much. Whiskey Jason here, together with Peter Murr. Cheers, Slancha. Cheers, Slancha.